evidence policing, why does it matter, why, why is it cool? It's all about humanizing the numbers, right? So we're all dealing with data about what we're doing and what we're looking for and how we're using our devices and all that stuff. But the nice thing about using data and community policing and evidence-based policing is it's about bringing it all down to the human level and about putting a, a face and a meaning to the numbers. That's about our everyday life and how we're interacting with each other and with law enforcement, which is a huge part of just how we treat each other and how we interact with the government and the world around us. Well, evidence-based policing is the highest or the best methods in using police practices to solve and bring justice to the community. So if you think about um, the American Medical Association, all right, if we have questions related to science, related to health or medical issues, we go to the American Medical Association to find out what those recommendations are. Well, why is it that we trust the AMA? It's because everything that they recommend is based on objective research methodologies, data, all of those things. So it's not using data and science to manipulate one side or another, it's we're just using data to help best serve those with medical issues or to prevent medical issues in the future. Why wouldn't we do that in policing? 